in European Union. The term wine refers to an alcoholic beverage made from grapes only. The wine made from other fruits are called fruit wines. Some of them are also named after the fruit it obtained from, like you can see on your screen. In this video, we will focus on making of wine by fermented grapes. Cultivation and harvesting of grapes for wine is known as viticulture. And vineyard is an area of land where grapes are grown for making wines. And the production of wine, starting from grape selection, its fermentation to its bottling, it is known as vinification. The place or building where wine is produced is called winery. And the branch of science which deals with wine and winemaking process is called analogy. Hello friends, I am Naveen Chahal. Welcome to you all on Hospitality Broadcast. In this video, I will explain the basic steps followed in winemaking. In common, there are five steps in winemaking process. These are harvesting, crushing and pressing, fermentation, clarification and aging and bottling. There are numerous deviations and variations which can be done during winemaking process to produce different types of wines. But the basic steps remain the same. The first step in winemaking process is harvesting. During the harvesting process, grapes are picked from the vineyard. Harvesting can be done by hand or by machines. Many of the winemakers prefer having the grapes picked up by the hand to preserve the quality of grapes. The moment at which grapes are picked determine sweetness of wine, acidic nature and its flavor. Once the grapes are picked, then they are taken to winery where sorted in bunches and underripe or rotten grapes are removed. After sorting of grapes in bunches, now it's time for cursing and pressing. In past, cursing used to be done by feet. People used to stomp the grapes flat in large beans or barrels. Even men and women performed the harvest dance in these barrels as a part of their tradition. After cursing, what we get in the barrel is must. Must is fresh juice of grapes containing seeds, solid and skins of grapes. Up until cursing, the steps for making white wine and red wines are same. We can use red or white variety of grapes for making white wine, but red variety grapes only can be used to make red wine. If red wine is being made, then the must is allowed to sit to get additional tannin, flavor and color. The time period for which must is allowed to sit is called maceration. After maceration, juice portion is separated from must and the process that separates the grape juice from the fiber and other solids is called pressing. The juice portion separated from must is called free run and the rest of the remains of must is now called pomash. While making white wine, grape juice portion is quickly separated from the must without giving any maceration time to prevent the tannin and color from leaching in the wine. After cursing, we go directly for pressing. Nowadays, majority of winemakers do cursing and pressing mechanically. Mechanical presses have made the process more sanitary and has also improved the quality and longevity of wine. Sometimes cursing and pressing are done at the same time, mostly in case of white wine, where we do not provide any maceration time. And also, cursing and pressing can be separated by few hours to days, like in case of red wine, where we provide maceration time. It all depends on the style of wine being made. After cursing and pressing, we go for fermentation. In fermentation, action of yeast upon sugar solution break down the sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide escapes into air and we are left with fermented beverages. The sugar is obtained from grape juices in case of wine. If we left the must or grape juice on its own, the fermentation process starts naturally in 6 to 12 hours with the aid of wild yeast present in the air. Most of the well-established wineries and vineyards prefer natural fermentation, but many also use cultured yeast to control the final outcome and to ensure the consistency of wine. The most commonly used cultured yeast in winemaking is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. 
The process of fermentation continues until all the sugar is converted into alcohol, which results in dry wine. If sweet wine is to be prepared, winemakers stop the fermenting process in between before all the sugar has been converted into alcohol. At what point the process need to stop is usually a conscious and intentional decision of the winemaker. After fermentation, the resulting level of alcohol in wine depends on the total sugar content of the must. It may also vary from one locale to another. Generally, alcohol level is 10% in cold climates and goes as high as 15% in warm areas. If we use Saccharomyces cerevisiae, it can go up to 20%. The complete fermentation process may take about a week to a month or even more to convert the sugar into alcohol. Once fermentation process is completed, the clarification process begins. In this process, we remove any tannin, proteins, and dead yeast from the wine. For clarification, we can either go for filtration or finning treatment. In filtration, we pass the wine through coffee filter-like material, which consists series of very small holes or pores. These holes work as a filter and only allow liquid and particles small enough to fit through. Large particles are held back and removed from the liquid. Another method of clarification is finning. Finning is done by introducing an agent to wine that physically binds with unwanted molecules, usually called colloids. Colloids include tannin, phenolics, polysaccharides. Common finning agents include gelatin, isinglass, egg whites, casein, bentonite, and carbon. Once the binding is complete, the agglomeration precipitates out to the bottom of vessel. Then the wine is racked to remove it from unwanted sediments. Racking is the process of moving wine or beer from one container to another using gravity rather than a pump. A pump can be disruptive to the beverage. After clarification, winemakers can either bottle the wine directly or they can give additional aging. Now comes the last step, aging and bottling of wine. Aging refers to group of reactions that tend to improve the flavor and taste of a wine. The term maturation is used for any changes those are made in wine after fermentation and before bottling. Nowadays, aging and maturation are used interchangeably. Aging can be done in bottle, stainless steel or ceramic tanks or oak barrels. Many of the winemakers prefer oak barrel as it helps in increasing their oxygen exposure and enabling the wine to reach to its flavor. Many winemakers use stainless steel tanks for white wine aging. The time period of wine aging in the barrel depends on grape variety or style of wine being made. It's also the choice of winemaker for how long he wants to age wine. The storage room where wine are kept for aging is called wine cellar. Winemakers run several tests periodically to check whether wine is aging in barrel or not. Some of the common tests run in laboratory are on your screen. If the results are not as expected, winemaker can take action. Once aging is finished, the wine is bottled with screw cap or cork. But do not guys, there are numerous techniques and choices during the complete winemaking process, so are the end results. In the end, it's the choice of winemaker. I have provided you the basic of winemaking process. However, the common result is same, that is wine. I hope you like the video. If you do, hit like button. For any doubt, suggestion, comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe Hospitality Broadcast. Thank you for watching.